Welcome once again to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can create a unique and brand identity. So we're going to use Photoshop to create a very unique logo. Okay, I'm going to use Photoshop to create a very unique logo for our brand. It could be anything at all. I'm going to use Photoshop to do that. With my Photoshop open, I'll go to File, go to New, and then I'll specify the size of my logo in this case let me go for print and then I'm going to change the unit to pixels I want to set it to 4000 by 4000 okay I want a very good size for my logo because I'll be resizing it for various background to something very huge I want so I want to also make sure that the, the resolution is very high in order to have a high quality Logo. So let me put it, so let me put it around 500 and I'll leave everything in default and go to create okay so this is what we have this is the background we are going to work on so that the logo we are going to work on will look like something so let me okay so we are going to work on a logo the logo we are going to work on will look like this so let me just unlock this logo by removing the lock and then I can drag it to our background so this is the logo we are going to work on let me just reduce the size and then put it in the corner over here let me zoom in for us to see what exactly the logo is going to look at, like so this is the logo we are going to design in this particular tutorial remember you need to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content or a new video so we are going to learn how to design this logo in our in just a few minutes okay remember to watch this video to the end and hit the like button so in order to get this letter we need to use the letter s and then by clicking on the type tool i'll click anywhere and then i'll type letter s okay we are going to use a particular font called ethnocentric so when i select this and i go to my font option i have this over here but if you can't locate it just type direct over here this is a font in which you can download online so i'm using ethnocentric regular so this is a font so this is the font you are going to use so this is how the s is going to look like we need to divide this into two so what i'm going to do is that i have to first rasterize this image so we go to a layer session i'll just go to rasterize uh, rasterize this you notice that this is going to behave like just any image it's not going to appear in the text format again so i can easily work on this just like just like any other image okay so i'm going to divide this into two just as we, we have over here so notice with my pen tool i can pick my pen tool over here click here and then click somewhere down here so when i do this i can just go around and then i'll just join this after joining this i have to right click make selection after making selection i'll go to edit and then go to a cut and then the same place again then i'll go to a paste so i have this back and i notice we are getting something just as this the next thing i want to do is that i don't really need this small shape over here so i need to cut it off so i can use my selection tool over here select that portion and then hit delete on my keyboard okay Control D to deselect. So now I'm having the two shapes right now that I can work with. So notice we are getting something to si something similar to what we have so far. So let's first go ahead and then also apply our gradient. Okay. I think that down here we also need to shape this side a bit. So we can use the pen to select and then we can just cut this part off. Let's select make selection. And then hitting the D, delete key on our keyboard will delete that part of Ctrl D with this select and I believe we are making progress so we can now apply our gradient to it so when I double click on this it will give me what the layer style and I have to go to a gradient to valley 
So you notice what is happening over. I have several gradients, but this is the most recent gradient I use. So when I click on it, I'm going to have that. That's exactly that's the exact gradient I want to use. But if you don't want that gradient, notice you have several gradient options over here that you can select from. Okay. So if I select any of these gradient, notice it's going to change accordingly. But for this purpose, we are using this gradient. So I think this is okay, and then I have to apply the same gradient. I have to apply the same gradient to the top one. I can right click on this and then right click on the first one, go to what copy layer style. Then from my layer section, select the top one, then wrote paste. So this is going to get the same gradient style, okay? So right now we can select the two and then we can move them around. If I press control, I can select the two and we can easily move it around and we can even decide to what resize it. When I hit enter, I will make changes, I will apply the change. So the next thing you want to do is also to type in the consultancy, okay? You want to type what we have down here, the signal consultancy. So I want to use the type tool, come down here and I have to reduce the font size. This is too huge and brings up around four, around what, 14. But in this case, let's use the time what, new Roma for this. So that we're just going to type and change the font to what time new Roma. So I'm going to use this the Roma regular. So I'm just going to type the name and then in the order. Okay, so I just want to enlarge this a bit so that it to cover what we have over here to look similar to what we've done. And I believe this is okay we are going to apply the same gradient color we notice we've already copied our gradient star so i right click and then i'll just go to paste and notice that it has really worked the gradient is working on this so the next thing we need is to have the last one the end consultancy and recruitment sorry and recruitment agency we need that one down here so i'll come down here and then say and recruitment recruitment agency okay so this is good for me i'll right click i'll select everything i want to give it a dark color when i click here with my eyedropper to i think this color is a bit dark or i can just select from my color picker and i can go ahead and then reposition it okay let me reposition this down here and the next thing i need this line around it so i can come here to my shape and then use rectangular tool select across this okay and i prefer a dark color select the color from the option over there i want to move this down so i can use my arrow key with my selection to select i can move it to somewhere around the middle so the next thing is i want to rasterize this as well because i want to do some editing to it so when i so when i right click on the layer section and go towards rasterize layer you notice that i can work on it so with my selection tool i'll select the middle this way and then hit the delete key so you notice with con by pressing the delete key i've deleted that portion of what my line and i can press ctrl d to also what deselect everything so you notice we are getting something exactly as we have so let's try to zoom out and see what we've done so far so notice we are getting something similar to what we've done or what we are expecting let me first use my selection to select this and then turn it off so with the eye tool over here or the eye over here, when i click on it that one will go so now we know have what exactly we want to get so we can resize this a bit to have to take some greater percentage to take some greater percentage of our background so when i select this i can just resize this so I resize this and move it exactly to the middle as you can see so if I zoom in, you notice that we finally created the logo as we are expecting. Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And if you have any contribution, you can leave it in the comment section and then I will reply to that. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. Turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload new content. Bye-bye.